أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. We're seeking Allah's love. We're asking for our way, our deen, our faith to be real. There's a faith like a wax fruit. You bite into it, it's plastic. There's nothing there. We ask for our faith to be real. Means then they begin to take us from a spectator faith to a real faith. Spectator is like somebody just looking from the outside. No, no, make your faith to be real. Allah reminding that if you love me, follow Sayyidina Muhammad Means be from the tabi'een, take the example of Ashab and Sallallahu how they love Prophet Sallallahu Ahlul Bayt and Nabi the family of Prophet Sallallahu how they loved Prophet and they made that life and moved in that direction. O oh, Prophet of Allah, how can we gain your, your nazar, how can we gain your glimpse upon us, your gaze upon us, your happiness upon us? Then Prophet begins to explain, enter the ocean of khatmah. Enter the ocean of service. Prophet is saying that if you want to come into this door, I mean, don't be just a spectator loving Prophet from a distance. Come into my heart, be near to me and dear to me, and look like the light of the companions, serve Prophet. Live a life of service to Sayyidina Muhammad All of the shaykh, all of our beloved guides are all big Ahlul Bayt, blood and light descendants of Prophet It is a completion of faith to make the faith real. Not at a distance but let me live a life that's real my Lord. Prophet's door is wide, many, many openings. Follow my companions, they're like stars. Follow my family, love them, take care of them. It's a ni'mat from Allah to make the faith real. It's a way for Allah to complete the faith. Because as soon as you begin to love the family of Prophet and love the companions of Prophet and love everything that Prophet brought, you begin to enter into his heart, his nearness. Then they begin to teach us that same reality is mirroring now to the shaykh. Because everybody is watching on the internet. Everybody is watching through the different mediums and social networks. But just to keep saying, I love him from a distance and do nothing with your life is waste, it's a lie, it's not real, it's fake and imagined. Because everything in our life is going to come and make a game with us. When we live, long enough to be artificial, eventually the energy fades, everything falls apart and there's nothing there. They take a little bit of barakat, they go and everything falls apart. It's not real, it's not connected, it's not what the Sultan wants, it's not what Prophet wants, he wants the faith to be real. Every day show Allah you are competing and completing your faith. If you love Him, serve Him. 
If you can't serve him, serve somebody who serves him. Means whatever they're doing in the way of Sultan al Awliya is in the way of Sayyidina Muhammad. Their deen and their religion is true. Ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app an all encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers. as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. Hypocrisy ends with khidmah. If you offer just free food and nothing else, don't ask for donation, don't ask for support, it, the place is packed like a stuffing for a pillow. Everybody coming for the free food, free kebabs and you, it's like a, a carnival, festival. Who's spoiling them? and teaching a bad way. They're not being of service, they are coming to take from you. You're not approaching Allah to take something from Allah We said we don't even say the word take bayat. Take bayat is like I'm going to take from the shaykh something, run and go hide. No, give bayat. Give bayat means I'm going to give my life in service to you. I'm going to give my money, my wealth, my possessions to be of service to you. Make it to be real. Make your, your jihad against yourself to be real. The greatest jihad, the greatest jihad is in Arabic means struggle. Doesn't mean fighting and killing people. It means to struggle. The greatest struggle is against the self. To go get my provision that I work for and give a percentage to the masjid. Why? Because I have faith, it's a sadaqah jariyah and then when I die, and I might die in five minutes, that when I die every brick of here is making zikr for me in my grave. Every time they come and mention one la ilaha illallah, it dresses the person who supported here. Even when a shaykh says, you get one dollar. Imagine somebody who gave two, three hundred thousand dollars to buy this place and to open. Everything from here is dressed upon them in their soul and in their paradise realities. Allah just says, not the seed of a mustard under a rock would go unnoticed. They give us a chance by this center and all the centers around the world, all the ulul am, wherever they are around the world, Allah giving us a chance, make your deen to be real. Having majlis of zikr three times a week, keeping us a masjid open, trying to be of service and live a life of service so that people will come and gain their faith will pray and their children will pray. And the more you can do with them, the less they're out doing naughty things. This is a khidmah.
This is a service in the way of Prophet Every dollar spent is noticed by Allah, noticed by Prophet noticed by Muhammad Shaykh. Because it's teaching us your faith is real for me. Don't love me at a distance saying, I want this one, I want that one. Find the one that you want and go and serve him and stop lying to ourselves. It's a hypocrisy and we'll be guilty of hypocrisy. Coffee shop, Sufis, is that you just sit and chat, nonsense chat. I would do this for Allah I would do this for Prophet I would do this. Allah says, and make it real. Find them, seek them out and now give your provision to them, give your time to them, give your service to them, give whatever ability you have to be of service to them. And then you understand the true struggle when you start to hear all the whisperings, why I should do it, why I should do it. Then you know your faith is real. And then every time struggling to follow their teachings, to understand their teachings, to keep their way, then you find that everything is battling you. Your body, your, your being is battling you and sickness overtaking you. Then you know that you are in the ocean of struggle. Allah is happy with that ocean. You don't want to struggle now, you're going to struggle in the grave. You will be asked in the grave, why you didn't support? Why you didn't come? Why didn't you take the hand of them and be with them? You judged? You judged from which maqam and which station that you judge from? Judge not where you should be judged. With what throne and what authority can we judge people? When we ourselves do nothing and they're all day long, every day doing everything, whatever they can. If they had more power, more wealth, they would have done much more. Who are we to judge? Means all of this is a reality and opening the reality of our faith. Rising Sun of the West is an essential spiritual guidebook filled with invaluable knowledge of the elements within our cosmos. The author guides the student through a comprehensive program of spiritual development and journeys to the Divine's most powerful Son of all universes, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. These symbols of guidance lead us on the path to enlightenment and by applying the disciplines of the star, the willing seeker can unlock hidden realities of the soul. It is ultimately through their guiding light that the student transcends life on earth and moves closer to realizing true cosmic awareness. Available worldwide at Amazon.com structure of the spiritual world is a pyramid. One on top and everybody begin to flow all the way down the base. The base being the greatest number, the top being one, one king, one sultan of saints. Below that king then there's a whole structure. If we're jahan and our heart is not open, we don't know who we're serving, what to serve, what we're doing, that doesn't matter. But don't assume because your heart not open that others' hearts are not open. If someone's heart is open, means Prophet Sallallahu opened their heart for them to understand which saint their life they gave on the Day of Promises. When the heart is open, they know from Prophet Sallallahu they know from that wali, your life to serve that wali, you mentioned his name in all your du'as. If he ever asks anything of you, you serve him with your life.
propagate his name and push his banner as much as he allows you to be of service. If not, you raise the banner of the entire nation, the Muhammadan reality and the Muhammadan way. Because these are the open-hearted people. They know who they're supposed to serve. They know exactly how they're supposed to serve. But the majority of their hearts are not open and they don't know what they're doing. But this for us is always a reminder, they want it to be real. They want all the hypocrisy to end. The lie to ourselves that we love this one, that one, and we're not serving anyone. If you accompany them, the overabundance of blessings will dress you. Look at their association and no one is in difficulty. No one has severe sicknesses. No one has any, any issue that is of any concern. Minor sicknesses for testing. Because they are dressed by the fountains of Kalthar. They are representing Ashab al Kalthar and the custodians and the owners of Kalthar. From what you eat and what you drink with them, you are being dressed from these oceans of Kalthar. And Allah will be angry that how you didn't let your soul to eat and drink from there, to be dressed from that fountain and truly you were an oppressor to yourself. Because that fountain was there and your ego told you not to eat and drink from it, not to be dressed and blessed from it. And there are fountains all over this dunya for safety. We live in an area that you can't imagine what type of difficulties are coming from every possible direction. It's the hikmah of awliyaullah that they have a place where there's food. Our way, the way of reality is that the reality will dress you through food. Not through your heart, not through your, your acceptance. Most of the people who sit in the zikr, their hearts are not open. Their mind is blocking, they're angry, they're disturbed, they're hungry, they're concerned. If, if they were waiting for us to be able to grab the blessings, forget about it, none of us would have gotten it. They put the ni'mat, they put the blessing in the food. They know that your ego is fully going to accept the food, it's going to eat and drink like there's no tomorrow. And that blessing is all in the food. Every bite you eat, 300 angels are required to bring that ni'mat into your system. Angels are custodian of that food. That food doesn't give you strength, it's malaika. The water, the angels that are on the water, every molecule, every atom, the angel immediately transforms from its nature and takes the nature of that du'a and that life that is now coming down. It has no ego. The angel on the water, as soon as the Ismullah is mentioned, as soon as Holy Qur'an is mentioned, it carries all the light of that tajalli and the water becomes filled with the lights of Holy Qur'an. The Holy Salawat and Sayyidina Muhammad What you achieve from that one bite is nothing that you could achieve with all your amal. And you think is your salah is going to be saving you? Your zakah is going to be saving you because you give so much? Allah's nehma is going to save us. Salawat and Prophet is going to save us. What they inspired for us to put together as a salawat is all about forgiveness, all about asking for the intercession of Prophet You think it's a coincidence that this came out in this territory at this time? Then you think all our life is just these random coincidences. Allah is not the best of times. Allah's nehmat and bounty is not all around us. That you praise Prophet and each group may have a different praise based on their area and their location and that is the greatness of Sultanullah. His closeness to Prophet and his request 
make my people to be saved. He said, the people in there, they recite this. Recite this and open all their ni'mat, all their food and all their water to be dressed by these lights. And when these sicknesses begin to come, it become like a cold and a flu for them. And it pushes away, the malaika push that sickness away, inshaAllah. Because these are all in the bounty of Allah and those who try to make their faith real. It's to live a life of service. You don't like the one that's there, find another one and serve them. Make our lives to be real in service. That way at the end of every night, we can sleep very happy, Ya Rabbi, I tried my best to serve to the best of my ability. Grant me more himma and more strength. On Rabbi Ka Rabbi Lizzat Ahmad Yazikun. Salaamun al Mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. در دو جهان فاطمه جان دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم نظر کن به انایت به فردای میاد نظر کن به انایت من ای رو علی جان نبی ام عبی ها دوی حضرت زهر Call me.